Hello, this is Chris from CMIVFX.com. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through something kind of silly. I, I got my new iPhone 4 and I created a helicopter rig for it so that we can uh, do some aerial footage with the HD camera functionality inside the new iPhone 4. Uh, you can see here I got a T-Rex 450 um, with a pretty basic controller, but I did some modifications to it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take you through some of these things right now so you can see uh, Pretty much how insane I am to be flying this heavy device with <laughs> um, such a small helicopter. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, and I'll show you a couple things about the helicopter, so you guys can maybe do something similar on your end. As you can see, um, I created a custom gimbal uh, right here from a camera tripod thing uh, from your local camera shop, and uh, it actually creates the stabilization um, or removes the uh, jitter from the shaking of the helicopter. Uh, the electric helicopters are pretty smooth. Um, it's the smoothest option. If you were to do gas, it would be a little bit more difficult to achieve the results that we're going to achieve today. But you can see here that we have um, the T-Rex 450 and uh, a basic gimbal here. And in order to keep everything light, I went with these really light, cheap uh, wooden dowels. They're not really solid at all. Uh, I believe they're um, papyrus or something like that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is sort of create some feet um, that has a nice stance because the uh, top heaviness and the shift in weight from the gimbal and the iPhone are going to cause this thing to sway quite a bit. In order to uh, keep some stability, you have to make the feet a lot wider than normal. So um, the next thing you're going to want to do is create or go and find something to hold the iPhone. In this case, I took a DVD uh, mailer and I created a back cutout where I can control the iPhone touchscreen and a front hole for the actual camera so that it'll show through there. And what this does is allow me to insert the uh, camera so that it can be held. My original design was of a couple different iPhone 4 cases. The problem is, is it was popping out uh, due to the screw that is needed to hold in the, um, this little thing right here. Uh, this is a magnet and in order to hold the screw onto the case it kept on popping out the camera because it was just not the right size. So um, in retrospect, I probably would have built these, uh, this whole entire stand in carbon fiber. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot, but you'll see that our uh, new T-Rex 700 with the uh, Canon 7D and uh, nice prime lens is going to be happening uh, later on in the fall. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. We have some more uh, commercial options available like extended feet and a gimbal from a couple different companies that are supplying equipment for this. But as far as something like this for the, the iPhone, uh, I don't think it's ever been done before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show some of the uh, footage that we could use. And uh, hopefully you guys would be able to take it to the next level and do something else with it. All right. Okay, clearly you can probably see that some of the problems that we're having is the weight distribution issue. Um, the dowels are not well balanced enough to hold a stable position with the helicopter. Uh, so what's going to be needed to be done is uh, a new kind of rig uh, where we can elevate the helicopter still but with some lighter, less wind catching capabilities. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully for version 2.0 we'll have an interesting video. Thanks again and visit CMIVFX.com for more information on high end visual effects and tutorials. I was walking down the street when out the corner of my eye I saw a pretty little thing approaching